I thought St Emery as manager is uh, actually very good. <clears throat> I find it difficult to believe that Arsenal were a team who were finishing a few years ago, first, second, and gradually it's going to fifth and all the way up. And I think that's because um, I think the manager had lost the place. He was an outstanding manager and I don't like to criticise him really. But at the same time, I think the last three or four years, it could have been a lot better. And uh, this new manager's come on the scene with a difficult job to do because you've got a club who are known throughout the world, uh, very respected, and you've got to keep the standards up. And I think he's managed to do that without spending hardly any money. When you when you look at the money he spent, I think it's uh, about 65, 70 million. I know that's a lot of money. But when you see the teams who are above Arsenal at the moment, the money they have spent in the last year or so has been two or three hundred million. So, um, yeah, Emery has done up till now a very good job and I think he's capable of doing even better if the board get behind him. Arsenal have got two big matches coming up. You know, they've got a, the big one is this Sunday, which I'll be at. And then the, the, during the week, it's uh, Manchester United at Man United. So um, I've just been saying how well Emery has done. This will be a real test for him because um, Tottenham are, are playing very well at the moment. I've watched them the last two matches on television and they've played well. They're solid and they managed to overcome a very difficult game the other night there, uh, getting a goal in the last 10 minutes or so, I think it was. That will give them a lot of confidence coming to Arsenal. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how Arsenal cope with this if they can cope with these next two matches, they've got a good chance of being in the top four, I think, which uh, that alone is very difficult to do. But uh, that, that would give them great confidence. I think uh, the weaknesses that Arsenal have got to continue as they've been doing will be difficult because he hasn't made an awful lot of changes. I think uh, Torreira in central midfield has been a vitally important player. He didn't play very much when he first was signed on. Um, but then he gradually came into it but recently he's turned out the kind of player that maybe we should have had in the last two or three years under Arsene Wenger a defensive midfield player who can occasionally get forward as well and he's got a good shot on him but even though he's not very tall he is a, an effective tackler and good passer of the ball he's, he's a good player um, I think Awobi has come on well since the new manager has come in um, he looked a little bit tense at times he will be trying his best being a local lad but in the last couple of games I've watched him there's been a big improvement um, that doesn't mean he says cast iron going to be there this season and next year I don't know but if he continues the way he's doing I think he can't go far wrong That's, he's doing very well actually I still think they're, they're a bit weak in midfield I don't think it, that's a midfield in my eyes, uh, Zaka and Torreira and I like uh, Guduzzi, I think, if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. He's done very well, I think, and uh, I think he's got a lot more coming from him. It'll be interesting to see how well he does. I would like to see uh, Uzo making a little bit of an improvement in his standard. and his, uh, I think he plays very well for Arsenal at times and has done with Germany, but there's games where he seems to pick where he doesn't really work very hard, at least it doesn't appear he's always working very hard. So I think his level of consistency is when he fancies it, and uh, I don't think he can go on like that. I think if, he, if he's your main man and he's getting paid the highest wages of all, one of the best paid in the whole of the country uh, as well, then I think you've got to have a, a higher standard throughout the season. So hopefully he manages to start doing that. I think um, the way Emery has managed this team has given some of them a kick up the backside because I think maybe under Arsene Wenger, maybe they get a little bit used to each other and it's almost like an automatic choice that each player was going to be in for the following game. And Emery has proved that he's not ready to do that. In fact, he's left Ozil out and brought him on you know, in the second half which is very surprising because everyone uh, would think that Ozil would be one of the first players to be on the team. But uh, Emery has shown that he's not afraid of any player. He's ready to say, 
you're not doing it for me. I think he's doing that for certain away games as well. I think he did that last week when he thought it was going to be a tough away game to come out, which means to me that he doesn't think he's working hard enough. Now, it's very good, very strong and compelling for me, that is. It's nice to see a manager uh, letting the players know who's in charge and he's not going to stand for certain players doing certain things in games and he's prepared to take them off. So I'm really pleased about that. I think one of the reasons why I'm saying that is because Emery's going to make that team feel as though I might be next to be on, you know, on the bench. And that is terrific. If they get too comfortable with a lot of players, not everyone, but a lot of players get too comfortable, um, they can very easily drop down in standards and their attitude and everything else. And I think he, by doing that, by leaving people like uh, Ozil out of the side, uh, it's amazing. I can't remember Arsene Wenger ever doing that while he was here. So um, all credit to him.